Well, good morning. Welcome to another short video. Today we're going to be talking about charging your Tesla or any other EV using a 32 amp plug on a mobile connector. Should have been more organised. Anyway, standard mobile charger that the Tesla comes with. I've been using it with a regular 10 amp power point for the last nine months or so. It's been fine. I don't drive a huge amount every day. I think if you drive under 70, 80 kilometers a day, you will be just fine with a mobile charger. I've been anyway. Um, these come with a 10 and a 15 amp uh, plug. Standard socket that you have is a 10 amp plug. Uh, but I've had my electrician install a 32 amp 5 pin plug right next to my switchboard um, so I can use a higher power uh, cable and hopefully get a lot more charge uh, into that. With a 10 amp plug you'll get about 2 kilowatts an hour with a 32 amp um, single phase uh, 5 pin plug you'll get about I think 7 kilowatts which is not far off the Tesla wall connector um, hooked up the same way. There's not, actually not much in here, it's just a conduit into the car, the actual charger is in the car itself. What do we do here? Apparently you can just pull this out. Yeah. There you go. And uh, we can swap this around for a 15 amp plug or one of these bad boys. So that end there goes in. Here. I hope, yep. I haven't actually used this for the first time on camera, so I hope it doesn't screw up or anything. Uh, five pin. Now, very common connector for what you find in um, campgrounds, uh, commercial properties, warehouses, and you get a lot more charge out of that. Is what we're hoping for. Now, let's have a look around at the switchboard. Okay. Now, the reason why I've had it put in my switchboard, it's a lot cheaper because uh, the Sparky's just got to wire it straight up. Um, instead of having to run conduit and wires all the way through the house and up the wall or anything because uh, I've got a two-story house here. So we've got uh, an add-on, what would you call that, RCD, switch, whatever, the main power plug there and of course the uh, five pin plug itself. You can see there's a little notch at the bottom there so you can only put the plug in one way. I only have one phase, single phase in the house but I've got a five pin connector. A lot of people say it can't be done, clearly it can be. Um, Depends on how switched on <laughs> your Sparky is. It's only wired up to that there. That's um, the first phase or uh, whatever, apparently. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, again, first time I've done this, it's a little uh, connecting ring thing, so I think you match up that bottom slot to here. That's all the way in. Just screw that in. That looks that looks pretty tough there. Alright. Neat. Well, I don't know, maybe maybe not neat, but good enough for me. Why did I put a 32 amp um, plug in when I'm managing fine on a 10 amp? Well we've actually got another EV on order, the uh, MG4, that's for my wife gonna replace her little hatchback. Uh, she doesn't drive much either. We're probably not going to need this, but hey, just in case if we do, well, there it is. Um, this wasn't actually too expensive to put in. I had to Sparky do it while he was doing a lot of lights on my house anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm glad we've got it done. But this is actually the first time I've tested it. I do hope it works. Uh, at the moment, you can see the connections here. I haven't turned it on yet at the isolator switch. Um, so what we would call that is a 32 amp single phase tail for a Tesla universal mobile charger. I think that's what it's called. Um, these you can get on the internet, plenty of people sell them. Um, in theory, yeah, instead of getting my two kilowatts an hour, we should be able to get a whole lot more. Uh, so I've backed the car in here, garden's a bit of a mess anyway. I'm gonna grab that, we'll turn it on, we'll see if it opens the plug and whatever. Um, I have registered a new domain name, which hopefully when I get time, uh, we'll put some content on there about the old, in inverted quotation marks, old Model 3, which is what I've got, and the new one. Uh, I'm going to flick the switch and hopefully I don't blow up the house here. Fingers crossed, okay? Mm, that, that's good. We've got green light there. Got the 10 amp plug there. We're going to bring this around here. I don't know if I have to change any 
settings uh, on the dashboard of the car or anything. Jeez, I hope this reaches. Oh, it just does. All right. Can I open? Yeah. All right, we're white. We're good to plug in. There we go. Now, do we have to change anything in here? All right, now. Charge current dislocation, 32A. You know what, I'm just gonna bump that down a little bit. So let's try 31. What do we get here? Four kilowatt. Six, seven kilowatt. All right. That ain't bad. Um, previously, we would only get two kilowatt of charge per hour. We haven't put really anything in yet because I've only just plugged it in. Uh, I've made it limit down to 30 out of 32 amp. Single phase there. Uh, and we've got five hours, something remaining, to recharge about half the battery. I reckon that's pretty good. Uh, well, that's about it. It works. Hooray. Very happy. Uh, nothing's blown up yet. And uh, it works. So if you do want a relatively cost-effective way to recharge your Tesla using the existing mobile charger that you have, that's certainly one option. So Tesla mobile charger, this was provided with this car when I bought it at the time. That's flashing pretty nice and quick, I like that. Uh, these can charge pretty much any EV in Australian market which has a Type 2 connector, which is most of them, uh, including our soon-to-be-arrived MG4. So that is it. I'm going to leave that charge in for five hours and we'll be at 100%. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe and all the usual stuff, right?